Hey filmmakers, it's Carrie with Filmmaker Central, and we're talking some more about the DJI FPV drone. And I have had a chance to really get out and work with it. I haven't had a, a ton of time, but a, a week or so of being able to play with it. And it's pretty freaking cool, I gotta say. Now, one thing that doesn't get mentioned a lot is this. This is the motion controller and this changes everything. It, it's really hard to describe what it's like flying with this thing. This replaces the remote control. Now the, the base unit comes with a standard remote control. You get the remote control, the goggles and the aircraft. The motion controller is an add-on and <laughs> I just have to giggle. It's really fun to fly. So what you have is you have your power button over here and you don't have to just keep binding back and forth. You turn one on, you turn the aircraft on, you turn the goggles on, it works. If you turn the remote control on and turn everything on, the remote controller works. You don't have to keep rebinding it if you want to switch back and forth. All right, so you have the, uh, the power button over here. You have the trigger, which is your acceleration. So go <laughs> is the best way of putting it. This is like the pushing up on the left stick. And then you have this big one, which is your brake. So emergency halt, come to a stop. That's what the brake's for. The red one is, it's called lock. And you double tap it to start the motors and they'll arm and it'll just sit on the ground. Then you hold it down and it'll take off about four or five feet up in the air. And then you can start controlling it. When you're landing, it's kind of the same thing. You get down to a foot or two, hold down the lock and it'll auto land. Mode switches between normal and sport mode. Sport mode is wicked cool. <laughs> All right, on the other side, you have your gimbal tilt over here and you have your start stop uh, record over here it's pretty simple now to fly with it you hold it in whichever hand is comfortable for you which is nice that it's a one-handed controller and to descend you tilt forward and get on the trigger to climb you pull back and get on the trigger to go left or right you just bank left or right this will allow you some really intense maneuvers. So here's some footage I shot. I honestly cannot believe that I did this stuff. <laughs> I've never flown like this before. I certainly have not flown underneath things or through things at 50 plus miles an hour. Yes, there is no speed grading on this footage. This is, uh, other than recording it in Cinelike D and doing a color grade, that's all I've done to this footage. This is no stabilization, no speeding up. This is real time out of the camera. And I was reaching speeds of 62 miles an hour at some points, uh, a lot of the points. And I was averaging about 50 to 55 miles an hour. So sport mode on this thing, <laughs> is crazy now the cool thing is with the goggles you don't have any i mean i have very little light leak just a tiny little bit under my nose but it doesn't bother me at all uh, i don't really see it when i'm looking at the screen beautiful big display i can totally focus on it there's no fuzziness to it and i have a really bad astigmatism i can wear these goggles perfectly the lack of lag means when I give it a maneuver, I'm seeing it in absolute real time. So without the distractions, without the lag, with a super, super clear image where I can see minute details of branches and things, the confidence that it gives me to do crazier things is unparalleled. Nothing has ever given me the confidence to fly like this. It is nuts to be able to do this. Okay. All that being said, 
I've been flying drones for 10 years. I have a ton of experience flying. I know how wide something is, how tall something is. I, I can plan my routes accordingly. Flying this thing in sports mode through small objects at 60 miles an hour, not a good idea for a lot of people. Uh, now, you start off, I, this is how I would work up to it. Start off in normal mode, right? If you come up to an object, it's going to, oh, first you're going to be going slower and the obstacle avoidance, not avoidance, the obstacle detection will slow you down. So you, you're less likely to hit something or smack into something really hard. It's not going to stop, but it's going to slow you down to making it a lot safer. As you get comfortable with that, now you can move into, or there's another, I would say from, from normal mode to go into turning off the uh, obstacle slowdown. So if you turn off obstacle slowdown, yeah, you're basically turning off the sensors and you can go right through things. Then working up to sport mode and really having a blast. And that that's if you want to use the motion controls, which I really like. <laughs> I really, really like this. If you're using the normal controller, similar, right? Start off in normal mode, work up to sport mode. When you really feel you've got sport mode under control, then you can go to manual mode with attitude control. So you can't flip it or roll it, but it's going to go a lot faster and uh, can get you into trouble a lot faster too. But you know, if you've worked your way up to that, then when you turn off attitude control, you'll actually be able to flip it over, preferably all the way over, but you'll be able to do flips and rolls and loops and all kinds of acrobatics. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm an advanced flyer, but I'm not an acrobatic flyer. Huge difference. So motion controller with the DJI FPV drone, highly recommend it. The immersiveness of the experience in flying. There's there's really no nothing to compare it to. It's just an amazing experience. With a controller, you're holding it and you're manipulating the joysticks. You're you're kind of doing a lot of things at once. And here you just have it in your hand. So you don't feel like you're gonna drop it. You're you're not manipulating small sticks. You're doing what feels very natural. And when you see what I've done with this footage and how smooth I can get and how confident I am, I'd say these are worth picking up. Now, time for a plug and a shameless plug, and I don't care because I, I, I know I have these in stock. So Multicopter Warehouse, it's multicopterwarehouse.com, authorized DJI reseller and repair center, which you may need if you're doing sport mode or acrobatic mode with this thing. But go to multicopterwarehouse.com. We have these in stock and I'd love to hook you up with them. This is absolutely amazing. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.